this video, I'm going to be sharing with you even more injuries that plague a lot of runners and triathletes alike. We're going to be talking about how they happen and ways to manage and treat them. Stick around. Let's start with plantar fasciitis, which is the inflammation, irritation, or tearing of the plantar fascia tissue that connects your heel bone to your toes. This is the most common form of heel pain that face runners, triathletes, and really most people who are very active. This is caused by simply overtraining or training at a high intensity too often uh, where you're putting too much stress on the arch of your foot. Another thing you might want to take a second uh, look at is the types of shoes and the support that you have uh, while training. One of the biggest symptoms of plantar fasciitis is an extreme toughness or stabbing pains in the heel or the arch of your foot. There are a few different ways you can treat plantar fasciitis, starting with the shoes you wear. Maybe you might want to opt for a shoe that has a little bit more cushion for your support. In addition, you might also want to stretch your heels more before and after your workout. Or the easiest way to treat it is just simply getting more rest. If pain or irritation continues, you might want to look more into getting some custom-made orthotics or soles to be inserted into the shoe uh, for some more extra heel support. There are some people who get some steroid shots, or you might also want to wear something like a night splint that I've heard works well for some people. One kind of splint you don't want to get is what we call shin splints. This happens when the muscles and tendons in the, on your shin bone in the front of your lower leg become really inflamed and you get more aching, stabbing sensations. The best way to treat shin splints is referring back to the rice method. Rest up a little bit, ice maybe on and off for 15 to 20 minutes at a time, use some compression activities, uh, and also elevate your leg while you're sleeping at night or maybe while you're watching TV or laying down uh, to help some blood flow. The use of shock absorbing soles or orthotics, as I mentioned before when talking about plantar fasciitis, do help tremendously, especially when they're providing that much more support. While talking about the soles and insole and inserts to your shoes, you might also want to take a look at the shoe itself, again, just to make sure you have that right fit. I can't stress enough how important that actually is. Beyond just the shoe, where you're running makes a big difference as well. Uh, the flatter and the softer the surface would help alleviate some of the pains from shin splints, in addition to simply stretching it out a little bit more and rolling it with either the stick or foam rollers. The final injury that I'll be sharing with you today is by far the worst injury that I've ever had. It's my arch nemesis. It is the magneto to my Professor X, my Darth Vader to my Obi-Wan. It is the IT band syndrome, which is a pain on the outside of your knee that is an inflammation of the iliotubular band, the iliotubular band, the iliotibial band. And it is uh, a tendon that stretches from your pelvic uh, waist essentially all the way down the side of your knee or thigh. IT band issues tend to pop up when you're increasing your mileage maybe a little bit too fast, guilty, uh, running downhill pretty frequently so again that hard intense pounding on the pavement uh, can really have horrible side effects especially for your IT band and you might also just have weak hips so there are a couple ways to combat this you can pull out that handy dandy stick or foam roller or what I've seen to take on to is doing a lot of yoga. Don't skip the yoga kids. Thank you for watching. I hope that that was very helpful and informative for you guys. The best way to treat your injuries is to try to prevent them from happening in the first place. So really try to incorporate a lot of the stretching and the yoga uh, as much as possible into your training. Maybe even buy a stick if you uh, want to get out of that or a foam roller. Uh, in addition, uh, I just want to thank you guys for watching and keep training hard. Thank you.